what I would do if I lose Nigerian presidential elections, says Atiku Abubakar. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has said if he loses the February 25th presidential election, it will take it in good faith because I am not the first loser, neither am I going to be the last. Atiku disclosed this during an interview on BBC Pigeon on Tuesday. He added that all corrupt allegations against him had been investigated and nothing had been found. All what I know, all corrupt practices or corrupt allegations against me have been investigated in this country more than anybody else and nothing was found against me. That audio was as disclosed nothing new, he said. Speaking on why he wanted to be Nigerian president, Atiku said he had many children and he wanted to leave a better country for his children and also the future generation of this country. First of all, let me start from private perspective. I have many children. I brought them up, sent them to the best schools, both within Nigeria and outside. As I normally tell them, I have lived my life and if I should bring them all back home, what kind of a country am I going to leave for them? And this thinking that I have is a thinking that every parent in this country, what kind of a country am I going to leave for my kids? Is it a better country or not? This is one of the reasons behind my perseverance to run for the office of this country, not only for my kids, but for the future generation of this country, everybody's kids. He also said he would take it in good faith if he lost the presidential election slated for February 25th, 2000 and. 23. That is my faith. I take it in very good faith. I am not the first loser, neither am I going to be the last, he said. I don't go for any medical treatment abroad other than normal medical checkup. The only medical problem I have was, if you recall, in 2006 in an election year like this, I tripped from staircase and injured my knee and I went to Germany for treatment. I didn't have any fracture. I just have what they call tendon rupture and the tendon was brought back in. So that's the only sickness I have. And if electoral authorities say we should produce our medical reports, I'm ready to produce my medical reports. Whatever medical attention I require is available in the country. I will avail myself of that facility, but if it is not available, what do you want me to do? To sit down and die? Hmm. So this is Atiku Abubakar, lending a voice. Um, let's just see, I think just comment here says he wants to be president because of his sports and rich children beware not because of poor almagery children not because of the poor masses another said one way tickets to dubai and root cameroon okay so those are just the two comments that i've dropped on this for now and uh, what can we talk about this feeling that he said the truth of the matter is one person will win the election just in every race, there will always be one winner and others, okay? And it is not a do-or-die election. It is not anybody's birthright to be the president of Nigeria. This is a democracy. So anybody who has the mentality of, oh, if I don't get there, everyone's will fall. No, it doesn't work like that. The world is not for just one person. The world is for every living being that exists in it. In fact, every human being of Nigeria, you know, deserves to have a leader who would be able to take us from grace to grace, not from hell to the deeper part of hell. Because right now we are in a serious mess. No, no fuel to buy, even if you have the money. And when you even get it to buy, you buy it at a very exorbitant price and also your money, you're not even able to get your money because it's been chaotic in the past few days as people are trying to, you know, swap their Naira for the re redesigned ones. Some are even complaining that at POS ports, people are selling money at high prices. You know, somebody said she had to use maybe like 2,000 or 3,000 Naira to get 15,000 Naira and the whole thing is just upside down. And we are thinking what exactly is going on. Why should Nigeria or Nigerian be synonymous with suffering? Why should everything become so difficult before citizens can even have to do the basic things 
that should not ordinarily cause any hassle. How long are we going to continue like this? In fact, this is one of the poorest election periods we've ever had because there's nobody who is, except those who are very wealthy or politicians, um, everybody is being hit by the fuel issues. They are being hit by no electricity issues. They are being hit by not even getting the money they want to have to be able to make their purchases. Businesses are suffering at the moment because even the bank apps are not working as at this time that I just tried even like a minute ago. And we are thinking what exactly is going on. You know, this is not a good feeling that people should have. And this is not a good end to the administration of President Muhammad Bari, regardless of how genuine his intentions might be, the fact remains that people are suffering from all quarters. There is even no soft place for people to say, okay, that is there's electricity. Okay, at least there is, we can get our money easily. At least we are safe to move from one place to another. Everything is just so stressful for Nigerians. And the question is, who has laid this course, course on Nigeria? Why must things be this you know, be this hard to be able to exist as a citizen of Nigeria. As we know, his former principal ex-president, Tudushek Mba Sancho, has not supported article in any way. He has chosen to support and he endorsed Peter Obi in the open letter he wrote to the youth on the 1st of January 2023. So article doesn't really have that support in that quarters. But he's trying to do his best to campaign and get his spokesperson to be able to get him out of the mess of Michael Achimogu, is some special advisor who has come out to spill the beans on so many practices. Please drop your comments and bye for now.